What drew me to the band was the huge energy with which they played and the kind of joy that they had found in, in doing something together. Fundamentally it's a film about a band, it's a rockumentary and it, it happens that some of the members of the band have learning disabilities, social workers, fairly institutional timetables, unlike a usual band. So, so what I wanted to do is to make a film that didn't look at learning disability as a kind of issue. Um, but looked at it through the lens of a bunch of people in a band. I just hate the band. Oh, I miss you, Bill. I wanted to become famous on my own as a solo singer. I mean, they come from Seaford, Lewis and Brighton, so it's kind of very much a, a local film. It's full of the landscape of this area, um, and I, I live locally near Lewis too. All this sold out. I think the whole experience of making the film has been slightly surreal for the band. In, in a couple of months' time, they go and play in New York um, when the film goes on, on American television. There's the Oscars for the big majors, there's Sundance for the breaking and established independence, I guess. And then South by Southwest is like, this is cool filmmaking. And we're absolutely delighted that we've had very talented filmmakers from the Southeast particularly around Brighton and Sussex, who've been selected at the same time for this year's film festival. So it's a phenomenal achievement. Paul Cotter's charming 10-minute short, The Odd Shoe, was filmed on the Whitehawk estate and features Paige Lees from Hove. They were really good because they had a really like, laid-back approach to everything, so it just made us feel comfortable. Well, how do you feel about uh, having this short film being shown at this amazing uh, American film festival? It makes me really excited, but I just because I'd never imagine it to do that. And a documentary about a Brighton based artist's fight against multiple sclerosis was chosen to premiere in Austin, Texas, too. The film took five years to make, and Johnny Hinklinton found it a very cathartic experience. I wanted to document it for my own sanity, and I'm doing it for everyone who's got MS now, um, who's in their houses, watching daytime TV, not wanting to go out, scared of the next bath, maybe their marriages are breaking down. It has a completely corrosive effect on every part of your life. And we, we go to some quite dark areas in the film. Uh, Johnny talks about euthanasia. Johnny's very frank and open in how it's physically affected him. I mean, incredibly honest in how it's physically affected him. And I think people find that really hard to watch, but I think ironically, people with MS that watch the film don't find that at all, and they find it very positive. And like his drawings, Johnny sees this powerful film as his legacy.